Hey there, it's uh, Kevin again from Theotech, and today I need to show you um, something that I wish I didn't need to show you. If you haven't been paying attention to Accordance Bible Software, they have just released version 14.0, and I think it might be up to 14.01, something like that, but it's not all great. Uh, many of us uh, paid the upgrade fee earlier in the year. It was a real cheap uh, deal where you could get it for, I don't even remember what it was. It didn't seem like much at all. So I quickly forked over my uh, dough and was glad to do so. Because Accordance has always been rock solid, one of the best uh, coded pieces of software out there. And definitely one of the best Bible software programs as far as stability and working properly. And every new release brings interesting new features. But version 14.0, uh, not so much. In fact, uh, it's got a lot of us saying, how do I go back to version 13? Well, if you're on Windows, I think you just have to uninstall it and then reinstall version 13. But if you're on a Mac, it's actually fairly easy because you can keep version 14 there. You know, open it up every once in a while and see if there's an update. Maybe they'll fix some things. Maybe they'll actually add some of the new features that aren't really in there yet. Uh, and uh, so, you know, you can have it there. It'll use your same library so it's not adding too much cruft to your hard drive. And you can download version 13, install it, and run it right alongside version 14. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and hopefully that'll keep you um, going until they finally fix this. I've never seen Accordance do this. This is crazy. This is like the worst release of a Bible software program I've ever seen. But hopefully the folks there at Accordance will get it fixed and worked out, and uh, maybe by... I don't know, first of the year, sometime into the spring, uh, it'll be ready to be called Accordance Bible Software. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is get to your Applications folder, and you got to open Finder, and then Find Applications. It's usually somewhere in the sidebar here of Finder. And look for your installation of Accordance 14. Now notice I have 13 and 14. What's going to happen is after you install Accordance 14, it's just going to look like that. There will be no 14, but you want to rename this. So right click, choose rename, and you can rename it to anything. I just chose to put 14. So that's the first step you want to do is rename your current installation of the Accordance 14 app. Now this also works if you're working on 13 and you want to test out 14, but you don't want to mess up your 13 installation, well, then you would just right click on the current uh, installation. You probably only have one of these and you'd rename it to 13, then download 14 and install it. Now, before you install uh, the next version of Accordance, either if you're going back to 13, installing 13, or if you're going up to 14, installing 14, you're gonna want to back up your files. Some people are reporting that when they do this, it messes up their installation. So the way to do that is, again, you're in Finder, go to your home folder, which will have your name, and then on your keyboard, hit Option, hit Go up here in the menu bar, and that's going to add something called Library. See, if I let go of my Option key, it goes away, Add Option, and there it is. In your library, find Application Support, and then Accordance, and all of these files contain things that you want to uh, keep. And so what I would do is I would just copy and then right click on my desktop somewhere and paste. And there it copies probably quickly if you've got a fast enough machine. To download Accordance 13 or Accordance 14 for that matter, uh, you just go to their home page, AccordanceBible.com, hit support, and then download. And notice they have both the Windows and Mac version of each installation file and links to their mobile files. Since we're talking about downgrading to Accordance 13 on a Mac, just click this right here, and it's going to place that down in your downloads folder. 
So now you'll click on that and click on the file. Now I have a downloads folder in my uh, uh, dock down here. Some people don't have that. but So you may have to go into Finder and then Downloads. But once you click on it or double click on it, then it opens this window right here. This is the DMG file and you just drag it over there. Now I've already done it so I won't do it. Uh, but you can then if you want, double click that and it'll put the file right here for you. It'll just say Accordance. You may want to rename it to Accordance 13 so that there's no confusion as to which one is which. And that's how you can download it. Open it up and it should be ready to run. Now I've already done this, but you'll notice as soon as you do that, <laughs> Look, there's no red text. At least on my installation of Accordance 14, it won't show me anything but red letter. Uh, that's one of the bugs and one of the reasons why people are downgrading to Accordance 13. But you'll also notice over here, I have, I've ordered my Hebrew lexicons in alphabetical order. And they're right there. I don't have to go through the whole uh, easy install process or anything like that. All right, so what if you uh, go through this whole process and then you open up Accordance and you notice that it has messed things up as some people have reported, then you basically want to reverse the process of taking this file that you saved to your desktop, open it up, and with two windows next to each other, click on this one, hit your option key again, Hit, click on go, go to the library, find application support, and then accordance. And notice what you could do is just copy all this stuff back here. But really, the only thing that you absolutely have to have is in your um, accordance preferences. You need to restore the text library file and the tool library. So click on text library. Hold down your command key and click on tool library file. And then over here, just copy those files to your accordance uh, preferences folder right there. Now I'm not going to do it because I don't have any problems on mine, but that's the easy way to get things back so that accordance 13 will be running the way it should. Now all of this is assuming a couple of things. Number one, that you're using a Mac. Again, as I said earlier, you probably just have to uninstall and reinstall on Windows. I haven't found a way. I've asked for some uh, guidance on that and haven't gotten it yet. Second thing is, it's assuming that you have downloaded Accordance 14 but uninstalled 13. Maybe you haven't done that yet, in which case you really don't have to go through all of this. You may just want to do the renaming thing so you know the difference between the two. And then the third thing is, it's assuming that you've installed 14 and you're having problems. Some people aren't. I think those people just aren't really using the new features because most of the new features aren't really working that well. Uh, Accordance posted a video that shows you the new features. And uh, I'm going to give you a link to that. So I'm going to watch that video. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just kind of have a feeling that maybe things might start to improve. But I'm just kind of concerned that Accordance has been rock solid for years and years and years. I've been covering it since I think version 7 or 8. And uh, in that entire time, I've never seen a release like this with this many bugs and problems. And it's making a lot of people nervous because they've got new ownership. And so I hope, I hope that Accordance isn't struggling or having a lot of trouble. Uh, if they are, we could be down to one major player, and that's Logos Bible Software. You know me. That's what I use most of the time. I like it. But we really need competition in the Bible Software area. So I hope that Accordance will stay strong and lively. They'll get things fixed up. They'll learn from this mistake. And that when the next version of Accordance comes around in a year, two, three, however long that is, that it'll be a lot better. This has been Kevin Purcell. I'm Theotech. I'm really glad that you watched this. If you're watching all the way to the end, thank you. Please share this, like it, and subscribe. That would give me a lot of help. I'd appreciate it.